Yes, this is Hai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, in this video, we will learn about create resources and what are the utilities it is providing to us and how it will be getting triggered whenever there is an update in the signal. So let's understand about this create resource in advance. So let me click, let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. In our previous video, we used this create resource for calling an API on the load of the component. Now what I'll do is I'll create a specific signal and whenever there is an update in the signal, we'll be getting the data. Let's see how we can use that. For that sake, what I'll do is I'll use a const and fetch data by ID. I'm using fetch data by ID as a function name and this is an arrow function and again it is an asynchronous call. So here what I'll do is I'll just pass an ID for this and whenever there is an update in the ID this will be called. So how to call that and what should be returned. So I have to return an await and this await will be calling a fetch API. If you want to use Axios you can use Axios as well it's up to you. So I'm using a fetch API call over here and this requires a URL. So the URL is something like whenever my ID is one, so you'll be getting the de details of one. And when my ID is two, you'll be getting the details of two. So let me copy this and put it over here in a template format. And this ID is something like dynamic. So let me use some ID over here, the ID, whatever we are passing. And once this is resolved, I have to return one more thing called as JSON and the fetch API will return a JSON in a promise format. So again, this is also a promise because create resource will only receive the promises and it will resolve the data and will give the data to your variables. So here what I can do is I can just use const to do this is my object and let me call the API by using create resource and this create resource will receive one signal. So first thing I want to pass a signal for this. So const I'll use something like uh, source ID comma set source ID is equal to I'll just use create signal and this create signal by default I'm passing a zero or just you can pass one whatever you want. So I am passing a one as a default value then I am using source ID and whenever the source id gets updated i want to call fetch data by id and this is my callback function now whenever there is an update in the api call it will return the data format and also loading case and also error case so already i have explained you about error loading and the normal data format in my previous video please watch that for better understanding here i'll just concentrate on extra properties which are provided by create resource so in this case, what I'll do is I'll use to do and this to do will receive a loading indicator. Whenever the API is in loading state, you will be getting it as true. So whenever it is true, I'm just using a paragraph called as loading. And in else case, we may be getting to do dot error. So whenever there is an error, then we have to handle that error. So I'm using error or just use something like something went wrong and if it is not the case then i want to use my to do data so the to do data let me return simple fashion so if you have the to do value then i just want to return a paragraph with to do and it is a signal format so dot i can use something like title and if it is not loading if it is not error if it is not success then i don't want to return anything and i want to return null so let me save this now whenever the source ID is one so the, it will be initially called with one and the data will be returned from this fetch data by ID and this to do will get updated. Let's see that let me go here and let me go to the solid JS application you can see here we are getting the data how it how it is triggered. So let me go here just go to the console and the network. So let me reload this. If you reload this, you are getting a call that is nothing but an ID of one. So this is our URL that is the request URL and we are getting the data and inside this data we are getting a title and the title is displayed over here. Now what I want to do is I want to update this signal whenever there is an update in the signal. There is no need to call this fetch data by ID externally. Instead, whenever there is an update to the source ID, it automatically invokes and it will get the data for your to do signal. So now let me create one button over here 
and this button should update the source id update source id and now let me use on click and this on click will have a function that is a callback function and i can use something like set source id and i want to increment this id every time so let me use a arrow function get the previous value what is my previous value source id is my previous value and it is a signal so let me use a getter format and let me use plus one so whenever i click on this particular button it will update my signal whenever there is an update in the signal this create resource will invoke this particular function and will get the new data to our to do list and that will be overridden here so let me go here and clear this off let me reload whenever you reload it you can see loading and then you got the data and let me click on this so there is a API call happened over here with the updated counter value that is source id and we are getting the title and that title is getting updated over here it is very very simple to call an api and to update an api at any point of time whenever you are using create resource in solid js and also we can see the loading indicator let me slow down this network let me go to slow 3g and let me hit this now you can see there is a loading indicator and then you are getting the original data whatever the api is returning and also this create resource is also providing two more facilities to us that is the methods whatever this create resource is providing is something like refetch this is one method let's talk about refetch so how this refetch will work actually speaking refetch is nothing but whatever the previous api call happened it will be triggered again and you can initiate the api call with the same data whatever you have passed previously so for example let me create one button and this button is nothing but refetch and then let me go here and use on click and this on click will have a callback function which is an arrow function and i can call refetch on this button click so let me call this and save this let me close this and also for our understanding let me use one more paragraph or just use the source id over here hyphen i want to show source id so that we'll understand what is the current id which we have triggered so let me go here and you can see it is one and let me make it to normal state now it is one when i click on this it became two and you got the data now what is the current value two is our current value that is the current data which we fetched from the api is the id of two when i click on refetch again the same api called and you are getting the data again I, if i call refetch again the same api call with the current data or the current source details so that's how you can use refetch for example sometimes you got a data and you want to change something in that data so how to do that so what i'll do is i'll create one more button where update current resource title so i want to update the current resource title so let me make it as resource and what i want to do is i want to get one more method which is provided by create resource that is mutate so mutate is something whenever you want to change some data which is returned from the create resource then you can use mutate this will change locally that particular variables so let me copy this mutate and let me use on click this mutate is a callback function again and this has a callback function internally and this function can receive the current value that is any value whatever the create resource is returning to us and you can update anything inside this this value is an object for me so what i'll do is i'll just use dot 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 value that is the current value and i want to update this so i want to return a new object with the previous values and then i want to mutate it with my title so title should be something like updated locally and save this now whenever i click this particular button it gets updated and the value will be shown on the ui here let me go here let me reload now it called with one and when i refetch it again it is calling with one whenever i mutate it you can see the updated locally and you don't have any api call the data which you want to update for the create resource that can be updated by using a method provided by create resource that is nothing but mutate so we have learnt 
four things one is loading one is error one is refetch one is mutate which are given by create resource and also we have learnt how to pass the signal or how to call an api every time whenever there is a signal update so that's about your create resource hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you